What is good, y'all? I'm back with another video. You guys probably wonder where I've been at. I know I said I would be posting every single Monday, but I haven't posted in two weeks. The reason for that is life's been crazy. I started school again. I went on vacation, but I'm back, back on the grind videos every single Monday. Um, and as you can see by the title of this video, this will be part two of my January clothing haul pickup. These will basically be items that I bought in January slash the end of December. Before we get into the video, man, I got to do a quick fit check because I'm not going to lie. I do have a pretty, I think my fit solid. So let's, let's check it out. So for the top, I have on this kind of yellow slash cream Zara crew neck. Um, I love the way that this fits. It's kind of cropped, but it's baggy at the same time. So for the bottoms, I have on these new order pleasure canvas pants i love the way that these fit they gotta have a nice baggy look um and i think that it complements the crew neck very very well for the feet we have the classic the one and only adidas wave runners man the colors of the laces match the crew neck um and i think this is an overall pretty solid fit y'all let me know what you think is it a w fit or l fit i think it's a w but anyway let's get into the video so for the first item a lot of people might hate on me for these but um honestly i don't even know what these are called these are like they kind of like space shoes i'm not gonna lie like moon boots um but i got these i seen these at the nike outlet on sale for like 30 dollars, and i were like bro these are fly like i've i've never seen these before nobody has these so i was like why not you know what i mean plus they were only like 30 bucks you can't beat that so um i haven't put on like any fits with these i normally just wear these like kind of lounge around if i just go get something to eat um or something but they're really comfortable Item number two, um, what I got is this vintage kind of Portland Trail Blazers hat. Um, I really like the colors on it. I am not a Portland Trail Blazer fan by any means. I gotta say loyal to my Lakers, but um, I just really like the color of the hat. I tried to get the Laker one, but the Laker one just wasn't hitting the same as this one. So yeah, I love the way that it's shaped. I kind of have a weird shaped head, so it's like I can't wear all hats or else it'll kind of look goofy on me. But yeah, this hat's pretty fly. It's a Mitchell and Ness. Got this from Culture Kings for like $30. Next up, I ended up picking up an Essentials hoodie. Um, this Essentials hoodie is cool. I have not worn it yet. To be honest with you guys, my first time ever buying Essentials was last year. Um, and I kind of got on an Essentials essentials kick so i was buying like every single drop but now i'm kind of over it like the hoodies are cool but it's just not as cool as i used to think it was so like don't get me wrong the hoodies are nice they're very high quality but um i don't know i'm just kind of over it so this will probably be this probably will be the last essential hoodie y'all ever buy next up this is probably one of my favorite items that i got this month um this is a purple hoodie i don't know if you guys ever heard of the brand um a lot of like rappers and instagram influencers wear this um but it's super high quality you can basically wear it with anything because it's black on the back it kind of has like some angels on it um this hoodie retails for like 300 dollars, but y'all already know i got an amazing deal on it we don't pay retail over here man you know what i'm saying if it's not on sale we're not copying so i was able to catch this at a crazy price brand new with the tag still attached and this will definitely be getting put to use i normally don't wear crocs i'm just haven't been a fan but um, since these have came out, I've really kind of fell in love with them. Um, I took them on vacation with me, so they have been worn a little bit. Um, but I think these are called like the Sala Bimberry or something like that. But um, they just, they're just different. I, lately, I've just been buying like different stuff. A lot of people call these ugly, like they look like, I don't know, old man water shoes, but they different, you know what I mean? When people don't like stuff and I like it, I love those type of items. I wish they made these in half sizes. I got a size 12. My true size is 11 and a half, but the 11 is too small and the 12 is just a little bit too big, but that's why you always got to keep them in sports mode though. Never fall off your feet. So I actually just bought this like two days ago. This is like a, a PacSun puffer coat type of vibe. Um, it's definitely different. I don't have any jackets that are shaped like this. Um, it's really, really big on me. I kind of like the way it fit. The color on it is great. I know I'll be able to match this with a lot of different things. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about wearing this. Next item I got are these green cargo pants. Honestly, boys, even girls, I feel like green cargo pants is an essential in your wardrobe. Like you can, this is the, I'm the type of person where I don't really like to match the same color pants with the same color top. So I feel like green bottoms breaks up colors so great. Like you could wear this with, I can literally wear this with what I have on right now. Like I can wear this with this, 
um i can wear it with black white i just think this is a really good color and a really good piece in your closet to have to break up colors next i picked up this flower sweater colors on it are cool uh, it's nothing too crazy i just thought it was different right now i'm trying to kind of expand my wardrobe into like things that i don't have so i i started off with graphic tees started off with the graphic shorts but now i'm starting to venture out into a little bit more you know dressing like a more fashionable man i feel like the graphic t-shirts are cool but it's not it's not giving man you know what i mean it's giving it's giving little kids so i picked up this sweater um nothing crazy regular sweater looking forward to putting something on with this next thing i picked up are these converse um this is a clean color you know what i mean i don't have any shoes this color now i am i'm not really a fan of converse the only converse that i do own are cdg so i have the cdg blue converse and the cdg black converse um and the only reason why i like these is i really like when converse puts the cream bottom on there i don't really like it when this is white so this is like a blue and a cream color i'll be able to offset this color with some with some cool combinations so converse also run very very big i wear a size 12 11 and a half 12 but these are a 10 and a half and they fit me perfectly so can't wait to put these on i have been waiting to buy this item this has been kind of an expensive jacket but i didn't want to pay full price i think it was uh, the regular price is like $60, but I'm like, I know they're going to put it on sale. I know they're going to put it on sale. And the other day I walked in the store and it was on sale for $30. And that would be this puffer jacket right here. This puffer jacket is crazy, man. Like, dude, like, look at this. Pattern on this is crazy. This looks like designer is not only paid $30 for this, man. And this is going to create a crazy fit. Let me give y'all boys a tip. When you wear stuff like this that got a lot of designs going on, the bottom you want to leave plain like for instance i can wear this jacket with this shirt because it's a plain shirt but when you got a lot of designs on your jacket or your pants you don't want to have a lot of designs on a shirt because then it just it looks crazy and you don't look good you look like you just i don't know it's 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 not a good look trust me next item we got this budweiser hoodie now i don't drink beer at all i've already worn this and everybody's asking me why am i wearing a budweiser hoodie because I like it. You know what I mean? I like the colors. The color's cool. Um, I don't I don't drink, though. I don't consume alcohol um, because I am only 19 years old, unfortunately. Um, but this is a dope hoodie. Uh, you can kind of see like a... I'm pretty sure this is a horse on here in a little bit darker green. Nothing on the back. But yeah, this, this is a solid hoodie, man. Now, last clothing haul video, I posted some brown pants that I said were my favorite. I love the way they fit. Um, I got the same pair of pants, but this time I got a different color. I got this neon green color um honestly i don't know when i will ever wear this because it's a crazy color but i do know these will come in handy um i love the way that these fit feelings if you're watching this let's collab up man i love y'all pants i could wear these every single day send me some colors but anyway these these are these are great pants i highly suggest anybody in streetwear anybody into fashion picking a pair of these up because these will definitely take you a long way last but certainly not least i ended up picking up this honor the gift sweatsuit um is it a sweatsuit i don't really know it's it's a matching top and bottom um it's really really kind of giving comfortable vibes I'm not really the type to like the match like this, so I probably won't ever wear these together. Um, but here's what it looks like together. Uh, the top says Honor the Gift, um, and the pants also have the Honor the Gift logo on there as well. These are very, very high quality clothes. I'm not sure how much these retail for because um, I was actually gifted this from a brand. Um, but great, 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 great quality. Um, and Honor the Gift is, is starting to become one of my favorite brands out there for sure. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which item that I picked up this month was your favorite. Like I said, videos will be dropping every single Monday. I'm going to try and stay consistent. I know I slacked off for the last two weeks, but I'm back, man. As you can see, my setup looks a little bit different. I'm here in my room, closer to the university that I go to. So thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.